Happy May Day, friends! It's Marisa at the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History tending to our native plant garden as usual. And today we are celebrating May Day, which symbolizes the halfway point between the first day of spring and the first day of summer. And many cultures have celebrated this day for hundreds of years in a lot of different ways, including making flower crowns. So we are going to learn how to make flower crowns today. And you may think that, gosh, I'm surrounded by so many beautiful flowers here. So I should just start picking these and use them for our beautiful flower crown. But you know, before we go picking, I want us to take a moment to think about what is a flower? Why do some plants make flowers? Is it for the bees and the butterflies who get nectar and pollen from them? Well, that can be part of it, but the real reason for a flower is so that the plant can make seeds that then drop to the earth so that new plants can grow. And lots of plants depend on bugs to pollinate their flowers by carrying the pollen from one flower to another, resulting in fertilization. So if we take these flowers, will these flowers be able to make seeds that will then make new plants for next year? No. And what we want for our native plant garden is for it to continue to thrive so that the bugs and the birds and the other critters who depend on this garden for food and for shelter can continue to get that next year. So we are gonna leave these flowers where they are and go on a little walk and try to find another option. Okay, so here are some flowers. Now think back to our native plant garden and now look at this large plot of earth. Which plot had more types of plants do you think? Our native grasslands are among the most biodiverse habitats in the world, but your average lawn is made up of one species of non-native grass, maybe a couple others, and usually also has some dandelions, clovers, and daisies. Just a few species. When choosing what plants you wanna use for projects like this, we recommend choosing plants that are taking up space from other plants that we want to succeed, plants that support more life or that are maybe being pushed out of their native habitats. Now, this plant right here is common daisy and it's not native to California. But I'm also not planning on replacing this plant with a native plant. Um, so it's still doing some good here. That being said, this is a lawn that gets mowed and so these flowers can cut down soon anyway. So I think this is an okay plant for us to choose today. And I'm gonna pick about 50 of them, which may seem like a lot, but they're really tiny. And also I have kind of a big head with all this hair. So you may not need quite that much and maybe you're finding bigger flowers. You can make daisy chains by using your fingernail to make a little cut in the stem and pull a stem of another flower through that hole. But these flowers are so tiny that that would be really hard. So instead we are going to braid them. Grab three flowers and pinch the stem under the flowers. Bring the left flower stem over the center one while pinching those three still together. And then the right over the center stem. I like to start with the center flower on top of the other two. Then just hold the flowers down, hold them together and bring the left stem over that center stem and the right stem over that new center stem. And keep doing that until there's about an inch. Then take a new flower and add it to the center stem. Left over center, right over center. Add a new flower. Keep doing this until you have a long enough chain. It can get tricky with short stems and more stems to pull over, but just hold them down and take time to separate the stems, make some adjustments. Once you have a long enough chain, braid the final stems for security and push them through some openings at the start of your chain. If it's not looking secure, take a long stemmed flower and tie it around the two ends into a knot. So have fun getting to know the flowers and plants around you and making your own decisions about what plants and flowers to use for making fun things like flower crowns um, and which plants you decide that you want to just leave where they are to enjoy them where they are in their habitat. 
Happy May Day from the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History.